Okay, so good to have you guys in this lesson. We're going to look at what we call ranges. So range, the range function, is one of the many built-in functions that come bundled in Python. Today we will talk about the range function. Okay, so uh, before we jump into uh, the details of the range function, I want to show you something here. Okay, so um, let's say I want to create a sequence of numbers between maybe 1 and 10. So what I can do is I can create a variable and then in this variable I can then you know pass the numbers into a list and so I can uh, manually uh, write the numbers down like this. Okay so um, this is uh, convenient because it's uh, a small sequence of numbers uh, but then let's say I have another uh, I need to create million numbers so I'll give this a name called million um, and so I have to manually write one two three four up to a million and as you guys can see this is a bit tedious it's also time consuming right this is not convenient okay so let's get into that range function Python makes it super easy to create number sequences using the range function okay so all this that I was doing here I can do it super fast with the range function okay so let's see that at work so how does this range function works so by default it starts from zero increments by one and stops before the specified number so let's say now I still have my nums and now instead of you know manually writing one two three four I can have the range function not it's all lower cases okay range okay and then these parentheses tells you that it's a function and so each and every function accepts certain arguments okay so arguments are the inputs into the function and then it processes those inputs and then it gives us the output and so here since this is going to create a range or is going to create a sequence of numbers you know it's naturally common to pass in a number okay so we call that an integer in python so here we're going to pass in let's say a 10 and so after we do this we want to print this is also another function which we have to pass in certain input into it so we're going to pass in the nums this variable because whatever we get here is going to be put into this nums and then we want to print it out so save and run this you will see down here it says range 0 comma 10 so it doesn't print the one two three four so it means we have to convert these nums into a list so how do we do that we then create another variable let's call it num i don't want to call it nums so now we're going to convert the nums into a list so we use the list function and then we co convert these into a list so now here we're going to print the num and so save and run and you can see down here it gives us the list zero up to nine now if i want to print a million numbers uh, i'm going to print a thousand numbers because i don't want to you know overwhelm my computer so i want to save and run and as you guys can see this is easy now i can print these numbers just like that okay it's, it's like automatic now as we can see it, it prints up to 999 not up to thousand okay so let's see by default it starts from zero so by default let's see here this list starts from zero and then what happens it increments by one so is, are these numbers incrementing by one yeah zero one two three four five and so forth up to 999 and then it stops before the specified number so this is what it does it stops before the specified we specified a thousand and it stopped uh, just before a thousand if we had passed in a hundred save and run 
it stops at 99 just before the specified number so this is how the range function works so if you want to eliminate this line here explicitly pass the list here so what i'm going to do is just passing the range function into the into the list function and then here i'm going to print nums save and run it gives me the same output okay so as you guys can see this is how the range function works you have to pass in a number and so it's going to generate a sequence of numbers from zero up to but not including the specified number okay so it stops just before the specified number so that's how the range function works okay um so let's try and answer this question here it says what's the result of this code we have nums equals to list of course we want to convert the range into a list so this range of you know up to five so it's going to go up to four so here i'm going to write five uh five like they did save and run you will see i have number zero one two three four so which which number is on position four okay so here it says print nums position four so which value is on position four uh here because indexing starts from zero so this list also starts from zero so the value that is on position four is four so zero one two three four so that is easy and straightforward so if you write four here check it out that's the correct answer okay in our next lesson we're going to look at the second argument that we can pass into this range function today we just passed in a single argument we passed in just one argument this is just one argument okay so i want to thank you for your time I'll see you in our next lesson. For now, I'm out. Bye-bye.